welcome back to another Guggen Squad episode. Back at the homestead. It's a little dreary today, but that's okay. Got some new faces on the channel today. We've got Fishing with Norm. Hello, got a little AO What's Fishing happening? and a little TJ from Fishing with the Yak Pack with the chest out. Oh, yeah. The chest Get, is do out. it harder. The chest is out. One more time. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's so nothing like getting your Monday morning fired up. That's like right. That's now. how we get mm -hmm. fired up over here. Now, we're going to be doing a little bit of fishing today, but not your conventional type of hook, rod, reel, line type fishing. We're going to be doing a little bit of jug fishing in my backyard pond. Hopefully we can catch one of the mini pond monsters that live in that pond and then eat the monster. But it's going to be a little bit of a catch today, boys, and all four okay. of us are going to be involved. We're going to go to the local grocery store. And when you live in a small town in Alabama, these grocery stores have all kinds of crazy selections of meat. We're talking about like alligators, Ooh. hog maw, which I don't even know what that is, <laughs> ox tails, pig snouts. We're talking literally Ooh. anything you could think of they sell. We need to go to the grocery store. We're going to all four pick our own individual nasty baits and see which one ends up catching the fish that we hopefully are going to catch and cook today. Let's head to the store, boys. Let's, Let's go. go. So the way, Lojo, the way Lojo explained this is this meat marketplace, I guess in the middle of nowhere, Alabama, uh, has all kinds of different meats. I don't know what I want to pick yet, but I I, well, I've kind of got an idea. I think I, I want to try to catch a catfish on a jug using an alligator. I think that would be the, the, be the full life cycle coming <laughs> coming through. I don't, you know, that's kind of, I don't know whoever has used alligator to catch catfish. Don't even know if it's going to work, but I, I think that, that may be what I'm going to go with. Pigtails, nice little pigtails right there. Pink ears, big pig theme going on here. Oh, there's so much weird stuff to choose from. Lojo was not lying about the meats in here. This is the largest meat selection I've ever seen. If there's two things I like, it's jugs and fishing. So I think my strategy is to get the nastiest thing I can find because I know catfish, they love just nasty stuff. So. I've been looking a little bit. Shoot, man. Is there anything you want? I think I'm gonna go for it, and I might ruin your day here. There's beef liver and calf liver. Like, what is? Do people eat this? Is that edible? Yes. Hopefully, it is. He they said do. it is edible. Yes. Yeah, right. It's just, it's just liver. That's just liver. How do you eat it? You just put it in like your mouth. You and people saute it like well, you do yeah. with onions. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Do you cook it, or is it yeah. just it's ready yeah, to go? Yeah, you just sear it up, you know, cut it up. Maybe, a little, maybe whatever we buy, great we you. try a piece of it. It's extremely oh. high in iron. There it's actually really helpful. It's oh, like a minute in the microwave, too, probably, yeah. or something like that. <laughs> 30 seconds. You got it, Norm. 30 seconds, there we go. With, I yeah, think calf liver? And I honestly, I was going to go with beef liver, and I saw calf liver, and yeah. I didn't know what it was. It's probably more delicate, because it's still calf liver. I still say y'all find out if they're cannibals. You buy some catfish, some catfish? Catfish nuggets. That's not a bad idea at all. Yeah. I like your choice, Norm. I think you're throwing down the gauntlet here as far as like a nasty bait that could probably still work, yeah. though. So, uh, hey, yo, go it, for huh? it. Get tiger. So I went with the turkey necks. Never really seen a turkey neck. Don't really know if this thing has blood in it, but I think it's going to stink. I think it's going to be atrocious. I think the fish might just gobble it up. So like I was saying in the car, we found the alligator. I was actually a little worried because we uh, took a couple laps around the store. We couldn't find the alligator. Lojo helped me out. We found it. So now, I guess we find out if catfish eat alligator. I'm gonna go with the old fashioned beef oxtail. Now the reason I'm going with this is because I have a little bit of experience and I did this kind of kind of a challenge similar to this on my channel and the beef oxtail actually was underrated. Um, plus, I don't know what, a, I mean, I guess it's the actual oxtail, like, cause it looks like there's a bone in the middle of the meat. Once again, very disgusting. I'm not sure which one of these baits is the most disgusting, but I am interested to know which one is actually gonna catch a fish. We've all got our baits picked out. Need to get back to the pond, get them all rigged up on some jugs. Let's get to the bottom of this. Probably the most weird concoction of meats you've ever seen, huh? Alligator, oxtail, calf liver, farm-raised alligator at that. All of this together? Yes. Yeah. Again, the most, the most the weirdest concoction of meats probably to uh, ever have hit this conveyor belt. All 
All right, ladies and gents, we're here now at the pond. We've got our, uh, our meats right here thawing out so we can actually be able to put them on the hook because all of them are frozen. And uh, Lojo's over there prepping all the jugs and everything right now. So hopefully this turns out good. I don't know. Uh, go ahead and drop your comments down below in the comment section. Which one of these nasty meats do you think is going to catch the biggest catfish? I'm going to go with the alligator. I'm just saying. I'm going to go with my meat. <laughs> I love your meat. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> The dog is actually, the dog is yeah, look at the dog. Time. That's that's like eight foot deep right there, nine foot deep. The dog's just like, you know what? I'm going to go for a swim. It's 46 degrees out here right now. I don't blame you, though. I'm in shorts and Crocs, so, you know. Florida just, boys. Florida stuff, Florida, Florida things. All right, let's go. Let's go help Lojo out. He looks like he needs help. So we've got four jugs, right? So here's our four. This is where we're going to use. We're actually going to mark them, too. That way we can keep track. Put a little Norm, oh, Yak, yeah. Lojo, Ayo on these but on the fifth one just to make sure that we do in fact catch a fish we got a little traditional bait right here we got this little brim that we just cast in it we're going to cut him in half nice and uh, quickly <laughs> put his head the head end on this one because i know one thing about my pond beasts they love the head of a brim so without further ado boys we need to start breaking open our baits figuring out how we're going to rig them up everybody take your jug take a jug Thank in you, hand sir. we're going to get to the bottom of which one of these baits works the best <laughs> that, oh, yeah. that, that made a noise and it also oh, looked kind of gross. Here you go, Norman. Let me cut this. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of. I would probably. Eat I, that. I if think you, if you I, cooked it, I'd probably eat that. I think this one's gonna catch the fish. I think so. If we're being Do you think anybody's totally ever caught a fish on calf liver before? Calf, not beef liver. Calf liver. This might be a world's first. I it think it's be. gotta be a world's first. In the making. First, yeah. I don't think I've ate any of these meats. Period. On the table. Ever. I've ate alligator before. Yeah, alligator's not bad. Alligator's, yeah, not alligator's bad. fine. I think I, if oh. I don't know Just of anybody that's ever used alligator, calf liver, what turkey neck, and what was that other one? Oxtail. Oxtail. These, I've used oxtail, but that's about the only person that I've ever heard of. Yeah. Stupid enough to attempt this. <laughs> these, these catfish are about to have a buffet. Yeah, it's this is a, like a, a true smorgas like yeah. you can choose a sample yeah. They're gonna have options for yep. sure. Oh, that's for sure. Some bone going on. Yeah. Yeah, work the knife directly towards your hand. That's the best way to do it. It's, a little, it's just a little tip. Yeah. When you cut something, you always want to cut towards yourself. Right. That's the easiest way to do it. Pro tip, don't do that. Yeah. Please, dear God. <laughs> and always run with scissors, too. Always that's run right. with scissors, that's, yeah. a, that's another good point. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to kind of get like a few frozen chunks and just kind of like just pile them on the hook. And my hope is once it gets in the water and it starts to thaw, that the scent and everything is just going to kind of release slowly into the water that it might even be enough actually right there for one jug i'm assuming that's kind of what everybody's gonna do since we've got frozen stuff that's actually that's, that's a little looser i don't know about the old alligator that feels okay but i'm sure everybody's gonna have pretty much the same strategy here but i don't know let's go ahead and get my jug marked here a little l right there for the l you're gonna take oh okay oh. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and write Lojo because it's actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. So there you go. Got my jug. These boys need to get rigged up because I'm putting mine in the water T minus five seconds ago. Oh my God. If there was an Olympic sport for catfish <laughs> bait throwing, I think you might've just got gold. Jug throwing, baby. Jug throwing. Yeah. Yeah. Now I want to see you guys try that exact same technique. Uh, 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 yeah. Let's go. That was good. That was the form you had. Yeah. You can tell. Swing, swing, swing. You've done that. Ah. You know, maybe you hit him with a spin. Oh, you That'll... could absolutely throw a spin in there. Hey, we might have to do that. <laughs> I don't even know. Is this a whole calf? Wait, <laughs> that would the <laughs> liver. Wait, what is, it? what is this? This is a liver of a calf. Yeah. Like a baby calf. Yeah. Baby. You just murked a baby cow. Yeah. Or it's the calf Big time. of a different animal. Well, a calf is uh, a, a calf is a baby cow. Like, yeah, like, it's a calf. So it's, not, it's, not, like, it's not like this part. No, 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 no. So what? what is this? <laughs> that's the liver of the baby cow that's been sliced into pieces that people eat. Your your thing just went under. Oh! Are you kidding me? Dude, oh mine's getting hit. Y'all better get you in better the game, get like, quick. Right. Are you serious? <laughs> that's <laughs> good. Oh, we're we're just going to start cutting. Dude, I don't know if I should throw, like, the whole baby cow on there or, like, half of it. It's frozen together. Baby cow. <laughs> oh, that, like, that'll be perfect right there. Look at that. Oh, it's getting hit again, dude. Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. All right, I got to get my jug in there. Uh... Is there any jug that should be mine, or is this good? No, you just yeah, they're all good. perfect. Want, buddy. All right, and I gotta autograph it, right? Yeah, we'll just put yeah, put something on there, an N or 
Whatever. We're gonna list, list them on eBay for five bucks. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Charity auction style. Oh, dude, dude, I'm telling is, you, I like the way this looks, though. That is so gross, there, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to, like, figure triple out how to get it, it on there. That's going to be the thing. The liver of a... I, I don't <laughs> even know. Your mind is blown right now. We need to keep one of these to eat, too. Like, I'm kind of curious. Dude, like, I'm, I'll eat it. Uh, all right. I'm just going to kind of ball it up in, like, a... I don't even... Just squish it together in a big ball and hope it stays on the hook, which I don't think it's going to. All right, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to show no, me how to do this because you made so it look easy. What I the, the heaviest part is the jug, right? So okay. I, I use the weight of the jug, so I hold it kind of by the hook, and right. I just swing the jug to get my distance. You just got to be careful to not let go, and then the hook goes in your hand, or which face. or face or somebody else's crotch or something, you know. So you got to give gotcha. it a everybody stand know. back. Yeah, stand yeah, back. Clear. Be give careful. Give a wide berth. Did you mark your jug? I didn't mark my oh, jug. Oh, you better mark that oh, jug. Rookie mistake. Rookie first mistake. time jug fisher. Okay, that's his first time. Wait, I already forgot. So I swing the jug. I hold it by the line and swing the jug and then let go of the line. But you just got to be right. careful because that hook will go in your hand. Here we go. All right. <laughs> well, now you guys are pressuring me. <laughs> I need some encouraging <laughs> words. You, you got, got this. Buddy. You, you got, got this. this. Thank you. Got thank this. you. I know. I know I do. There we go. Yeah, there oh, we go. That was a high. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Hit him with right. the height. That was pretty good. Nice. I'm sure my bait's still on there. I hope it is. Yeah, I kind of, it went it. up in the sky and it fell. I didn't and see hopefully it's still on off. the hook. I wanted to get my jug next to Lojo's because Lojo knows his pond better than any of us do. So yeah. I think I'm in a good spot. Hopefully my bait will outperform Lojo's. I don't know how to get this on the hook, to be honest, because it's not what I expected. Yeah, you're just going to have to. Oh, look at that. There's a nice piece of fat right there. That's yep. good. You want that on yep. there. It'll hold. Oh, that's how. There's tough. There you go. There's yeah, the yeah, tough yeah. alligator yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. That's the piece I want. Yep. I ran out of room there. I don't know how I did that. I got all this room. <laughs> all right, little Joe. Try to throw that Joker as close to that. Oh no, I got a spot. I got a spot. You okay, I'm just saying. All, yeah, you. Where they're not all like. I don't want yeah. them getting all freaked out. Yeah. Well, Lojo but doesn't know. I've been Google Map spying on his pond. I know where all the catfish are. Watch. Send it then. Let's well, the dog. The dog seems to love the alligator the most. <laughs> so maybe that's a sign. Loves yeah. Hello. Watch. I got a stick. Watch. It didn't work. We didn't make it as far as uh, I would have liked, but that was Lojo's fault. He told me how to throw it wrong. I went last purposefully because I thought it would kind of thaw out for me. Didn't really work out. Oh my gosh, dude. I thought there would be more fat on here. Dude, that would be <laughs> Dude, I feel like that's solid bone. Cut right at my hand real quick. You told me that. Yeah, or I've seen on Instagram, yeah. I'll just eat it on a Saturday. Okay. There's a tiny piece. Right. I think that'll be plenty for a hook. Oh. He's getting tugged on. Oh. He's getting tugged oh. on. Gosh, no. The alligator's getting tuggy. I knew it too. <laughs> hey, mine got tugged on too though. He's I'm not insane. on there yet. He's not hey, on there yet. That's okay. That gator. <laughs> Wait, so did y'all well, see that throw? Under? That, well, when, when the fish is on there. Silver metal that, right here. He'll be scooting yeah. around the well, pond. Just gold. That's going to be it. That's going to. Please work. Oh, it's oh, working. Gosh. Love it when a plank. Oh my goodness. Bro, that's probably like an eight pound catfish. <laughs> Look how he's turning it. It dude, might that, be a 10. Dude, that snag is going to, it's going to be so close to that <laughs> snag though. Like as soon as the catfish, there's a huge tree that goes from here to that island. And if that catfish hits it hard, he's going to dive right underneath that tree and it might yeah. be game over. But he may not. He may swim the other way. Um, I, and then you'll, you'll be good. But yeah. you're like right on top of the snag right now. So we'll see. I think Yat Pack threw in a brim bed. Just saying. I'm going to get a little bit deeper. Threw in a brim bed. Dude, he's saying that he thinks brim was attacking this thing, not catfish. Let's, oh, oh my gosh. You said well, that we're on them. Talk about on the snag, <laughs> my guy. <laughs> we got two jugs just yeah. on the giant snag. But Thank the you. thing is, there are a ton of fish that hang out underneath the snag. So I have no doubt they're going to get bites. I just want to see if we can actually get these fish out of here. So we got two jugs deep, me and Norms, which is good. We got two shallow near the fish feeder. So definitely got a good, uh, good spread here. We're going to take the last jug with the brim on it and just cast it maybe somewhere way over on the other side and uh, see what happens. But... We've, I, I think every jug's had like a little bit of action so yeah, far, yeah. except for yours, but you just put yours out. So this, we might have multiple big old fish on here to eat. I don't know. Oh, I don't know 
All right, Mr. Brammy Bram. Now comes the not so exciting part for us. We're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. But for you guys, it's gonna be the snap of a finger. No, that one. That oh, one's got a fish on it. That one's got a fish on it. Oh, that one's got a fish gosh. on it. We have to go retrieve it though because it could get off literally any second and then we don't get to eat today. So we have to retrieve it. I'm a hungry boy. Get in the kayak, somewhere to get that gosh darn jug. He's on there. We got, we got to go get him. We got to eat. Oh, he's going crazy. Get there. That may be, that may be Ayo's jug too. I'm not sure, but we're going to have to see. Those definitely don't have a fish, but that one has one on there right now. We got to get there. He's going to go via kayak just in case it tries to run from us. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, it's a big one. Get him in the boat. Oh my God, thing is huge. Oh. <laughs> That's a big one. Dude, whose jug is that? Look at the, the whose is that? Is it the brim? It's, it's yours? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you didn't mark yours. Turkey neck, baby. Son of a gun, the turkey neck. Woo! That's a big freaking catfish. Oh my God. All right, we, sh we should check the rest of them just in case. Look at that monster, dude. Oh. Look at that thing. Don't you drop that fish, Andrew. Oh, no, we gotta eat, man. We gotta eat, baby. Heck yeah, brother. Paddle on over to the bank. Let's take a closer look at that thing. Freaking turkey necks. Did not think that was gonna be the bait, but there's so many factors that go into this. These other ones could have gotten blown too far. Who knows? I'm ready to eat, man. For sure. Don't you let that joker flop out now. I don't want to grab him because he like bit the frick out of me. You got to grab him a certain way. Yeah, bend that lip way back. Look at the mouth on that thing. It's oh. Dude, you, he bloody your thumb up like that? Yeah, he got it. Oh! Dude, he, <laughs> right where I like it. Here, let me give you a hand there. Thanks, then. Ma'am. Ma'am. Dude, look at that donkey. Look at the God, mouth on it. Look at the Check head. It, dude, dude turn it up. Look at how big the head is on that joker. Look at the head on that thing, man. The freaking whiskers. Oh my <laughs> Whisker God. biscuits, man. He's going to be a good eating fish. That's the, that's the exact size that's, you want right there. That's feeding the family of five tonight. Dude, that thing yeah, will literally feed sure. all of us. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, we took a little bit of each other. but Yeah, dude, he got you and you got him. Man. That's it right. Happens. That's probably all your blood. That was right. a, an epic battle out there on the water in the kayak. He's piercing my thumb right now, so I'm going to go end his life real quick. Yeah, you know big shout saying. out to old Andrew, old AO Fishing, for the turkey neck. Right. Getting it done. Give me some neck, son. But hey, if you guys are ready to eat, yes, we're going to still go ahead and fillet this bad boy up, throw him in the hot grease. He's just whooping AO ass right now. <laughs> he is just he read me a new one. got him in a Three headlock, just beating him. Oh, oh God. God. Hey, well, we're going to end up eating him so he can get a couple licks in on the way out. We made it back to the house. We got the grease going. Lojo's going to have it hot and ready. We're about to fillet this bad boy up. Dip her straight in there. We got two slabs. We're gonna cut these things up into nuggets. Fry the heck out of them. Catfish and nuggets, <laughs> baby. Let's go. Fish clean, ready to go? I, I'm oh, we're just gonna fillet them up? Like no, just... I wanna nugget them, but I didn't yeah. know where to put them. Yeah, so. nugget them. We'll just we'll rinse them off like right before we put them in. Rinse them. I mean, like, oh, but if you want to cut them right there, we'll just rinse them and then you hand them to me. I'll batter them and throw them in. Me and Badge like to go a little heavy on the oil, even when you don't need it. I mean, why? Well, you know, there's no such thing as too much oil when you're frying stuff. Let's break down the, the marinade here, real quick. We got the little, some little fish nuggets, your basic egg wash, which is not like a surprise for fish. But in this flour, we have some Cosmo Q, his own seasoning. It's called, I think it's called like Hot Dirty Bird or something. It's originally like a chicken seasoning, but we love to use it on catfish. It's so good. It's got a little spice to it. You boys like spice with your food? Yeah? I don't. Well, then you're going you're gonna to like this. It's going to be really good. There's a good little bubble right there, but it's not like making a ton of noise, which is good. It means it's not too hot. Badge, you can start throwing them in the egg, my guy. As you cut them, you can throw them right in the egg. I'm gonna throw them in the flour and the sauce. Oh my God, it smells good. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Eye on them, so it's as hot. to not overcook them. You got a scooper to get them out? I know you got the pan. You just pull that thing out. Oh, got drains them. Oh yeah. Dad, what the hell's going on over there, man? I feel like you're a professional catfish fry. Perfect bite-sized pieces. 
By the way, oh this God. is my first time ever eating not only a catfish, a freshwater fish, ever. I've never had bass, crappie, bluegill, anything, so I'm pumped for this. And it just smells so good. Uh, I think these bad boys are about as ready as they're going to be. Oh my God. They're looking real, I mean, they are just crisped up on the outside. Would you move the uh, that, that grease jug? And we're going to just dump it right here on the, on the thing. Let it collect some of the grease, let it cool off a little bit. Dude, look at this. Just look at them, bro. I know, right? You know what it looks like? Chicken fingers. It from looks Zaxi's. like chicken fingers. Exactly. It does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. So let's let these guys cool off. We're gonna do a little round table uh, taste off to see what uh, what a catfish who likes turkey necks is gonna oh, taste yeah. like. Because that's what this catfish <laughs> ate. So I hope he doesn't taste like turkey. A turkey. Necks. Neck, let's just yeah. say that. Yeah. All right. So me and me and Andrew, we eat this kind of stuff all the time. You've never had catfish. Yes. You've never ate anything that I've Not, ever cooked. Yeah. I really think you guys should should proceed. Fair enough. I always like to see what piece people go for. So give me your thoughts. Let me know what are you thinking. What are you tasting? Hot? <laughs> Slightly hot. <laughs> like temperature, not but seasoning. But it's not fishy at all. Right. That's what I was yeah, saying. Yeah, temperature, yeah. not seasoning hot. Hot. What no, that's good. Here? Pierce? How about that? Yeah, it's a little temperature. Holy moly! Yes. Tornado coming through. <laughs> That'd be great. It's like look, at the, look at that white meat, man. See, that's perfect because I didn't over. Sometimes I over season it. Sometimes you get a little heavy handed with the seasoning. Oh. This is actually under season, which is good. That way you could add stuff to it if you want to. Huge shout out to AO for catching the catfish for the boys. Yeah. Eat. We yeah. had eight all day today. Not at all yeah. day. So we needed yeah. this. I that's just not. realized we haven't eaten all day. Yeah, right. <laughs> we have not. Thank you, AO. It's really good. I also bled all over it. So, you boys True. are welcome. Got a little yeah. catfish blood, a little AO blood. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. My man went for the big piece. That's what I'm talking about. It's going to be gone within a minute. Yeah. We're, we've already yeah. gone through half. All right. That's good. good. Dude, fresh yeah. pond catfish from the water to the table in like an hour. I mean, it doesn't get any fresher than that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode with a little catch and cook action, a little nasty bait action, and some jug fishing. We got ahead of all in this video. So make sure you guys check out all the fellas that's been helping us out in this Guggen Week. They're, all their channels are going to be linked in the description. But... Uh, Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the Guggen Squad channel if you have not. We are out of here, folks.